around my local area, specifically my two local parks that are about a mile from my home. Uh, this is a little bit of bird photography. I've got some bird seed in my pocket and I'm traveling light. I've got my uh, 300mm, 70 to 300 mil lens on just to keep it lightweight so I'm moving about. It's a bit too heavy bringing the 400 mil out around just for this because uh, the bird photography that I like doing is in the other park and uh, I've put some seed on the feeders and wait for them to come. And I've got the GoPro, recording with the GoPro and I'll also be recording some B-roll footage with the Nikon and yeah, we'll see how this one comes out. Never know, might get some good results, might not. Either way, at least I'll get some exercise. See you later. So, while I'm walking towards a destination, I thought I'd tell you the settings I'm using today. So I'm in manual mode for this uh, trip. So what I've done is I've um, set for auto ISO. I've got my aperture set wide open at, uh, at 300mm at 6.3. At so if I'm shooting at 70, it'd be 6.3. And when I'm shooting at 300, it'd be 6.3. So that won't change. So which means that I, all I could do is, um, all I have to do rather, is just increase or decrease my shutter speed with the rear dial. So that's all I have to do. And also... I can increase or decrease the exposure value quite quickly with this button here and turn in the rear dial as well. So as you can see, both fingers are poised to do those two actions. Doing it that way, you are shooting with high ISOs, um, but the way of the Nikon D7500 is that I have no problems at all in shooting with high ISOs. Uh, you, Basically, you get printable images at 6400, um, and I've done it, and it's actually pretty good. So, 6400 equivalent on this is probably the equivalent of shooting at ISO 800 on my Canon 7D. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good for high ISO range. Anyway, we're still walking along to my first station, and I'll catch you later. So I'm just um, crouched by this uh, wooden seat here and you've just seen some footage. I've stuck the GoPro on the log over there and I've stuck some seed down. I've got, I've got a blue tit there as well. Blue tit, coal tits, robins, great tits, of course, <laughs> big funny squirrels. There's a robin and a blue tit on that ramp. But yeah, this is a really good spot. I'm getting everything. Excellent. Not only that, there's a nice big gnarly tree there. But 
photography is about birds today. Right, so let me explain this bit here. This is a sort of like a rest area that they build, and uh, just try a little experiment on this log there. I've put some bird seed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand just here out of the way and just observe the birds coming in and see whereabouts they land to then go down onto that log to eat the, the seed. And wherever they land, because they always land somewhere safe to scout the area before they actually go down to feed so wherever that place is then i will remove i will then move myself in an advantage to take pictures so at this moment in time it's just going to be standing there waiting so this is being recorded with the d7500 as you can see i've got my gopro there getting some close-up video footage there's a blue tit just gone on there. Look, that's where they're perching before they go, which is making for good composition. So I they do three minute stints on the GoPro. <laughs> but this has actually turned out to be a very good position I've got. I've had long tailed tit. Um, I have to look up the other birds. I'm not too hot on my birds at the moment. I had a common species, but. Anyway, this is proving to be a good spot, so I'm going to keep the GoPro recording there. I just wanted to give you sort of like an update via this Vima 7500. Oh, there's a long tailed tit. No, that's what's that? That's a blue tit just gone in there and on there again. But yeah, really good. So I'm actually being quite brazen now. I'm only about six, seven feet away from the stub now. Just sat here. They're flying all around me. <laughs> there we go. It's got two just going on in there. So I might stay here for a bit. I'm talking to you and they're still flying around on there. Anyway, let's get on, take some pictures. Right, well I'm moving away from that spot now. I've been there for a good hour and a half, to be honest. I've got some good footage, I think. I think you've uh, seen it all by now. A couple of good images. And I'm just gonna see up here. See, I'll, I'll turn you around. See up through there looks good. I mean, I was just here. So I'm gonna wander up through here. Cause it's, you know, people don't go over there. They tend to keep these tracks, which are here. So I'm going to wander up there and I'm going to see if I can, oh what was that over there? I think we've got some squirrels up there so I'm going to make my way through this bit and uh, 
probably set up somewhere up there. Just starting to rain a little bit, but not much. So we just go up there and have a look. Right, so I've um, just come in to the woods just off the path, I'm about 100 metres off the main path. And there's an intersection of game trails here. I've just sat myself down, i put a pile of seed on the intersection of the game trail, and I'm getting, just seen a song thrush. Um, I've seen a wren, a chiff chaff, and also a tree, tree creeper going up that beech tree. And that's what I'm trying to get at the moment. I've got a picture of it. It's not a very good one. But yeah, I'm just sitting there. Seeing what comes along. So far it's been quite a lot. Well, as you can probably hear, it's raining quite hard, but uh, I've taken shelter underneath this pine tree. But I have a good view though, right into the woods. Oh, look at this. So the rain has stopped and the sun has now come out again. It's about a 20 minute downpour. So I'm looking for one last shot before I go back to my car. Bear in mind, I've only bought my 70 to 300. Um, I am in the process of uh, trying to get myself either a Nikon 20mm or 24mm AF lens. So when I do bring my big 400mm lens or this 300mm, I can just shove a wide angle, sort of like primary bag, without bringing out the, you know, Tamron. Um, a squirrel sat on that bird feeder there but yeah um just looking for one last shot before i get, get back to the car so i've got a bit of a walk back so it's in the other park um might do an arty farty one <laughs> uh, or just might take a picture of this squirrel anyway still there look Right, this rain is becoming annoying. I think I've sheltered under every single tree in this park. Anyway, I want to call it a day and uh, make my way back home. I've got a bit of a walk back to the car. It's coming off two o'clock in the afternoon, so I've been there a good five hours. I really enjoyed it. Um, took a yeah, load, of, load of video with the Nikon and with the GoPro and uh, strategically placed on bird feeders and, and the like and logs and stuff. So we've got some really good, really good footage, I think. Anyway, I'll say thank you for watching. 
I'll see you on the next video.